Hey guys, so a few days ago we posted our review on a 300MW laser, uh, green laser pointer, and that was, you know, people, it could be, it could be a smaller wattage, um, than what it's claiming to be, but we've certainly, we've got another product, this is another green laser pointer, and we actually have the packaging on this one. It's interesting, this is a lot smaller from what I can see on the packaging, and take it out of the box and compare it to the larger laser pointer that we received. So, um, this is pretty interesting. Um, it's another generic model build, and you've got our warnings and not to point it at. And this one runs on triple A batteries, two triple A batteries, and uh, it has like usages like for classrooms. It's um good for outdoors. It's good for um, I don't know emergencies and stuff like that. So let's just see. The packaging is made out of this sliding door thing, and we get that out to a generic looking box, which we can fully open one handed, and it exposes this as green laser pointer, and we have a laser pointer itself, which actually looks a lot like the original one that we reviewed here, except it's not. Here's our original one that we reviewed, the uh, the, the 300 one, and um, as you can see on the size size comparison, it's 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 a lot larger compared to this. It's this one's really tiny. It's just so much smaller uh, if we put it head to head. And yeah, this one's just so much larger and thicker. Um, so anyways, this is a really tiny one. It looks like an actual pen instead of something really large you have to grip like that. Um, we also have more accessories here. We've got another set of extra batteries, which is nice. So maybe battery life isn't that good? I don't know. We've got also four tips instead of only one out of the box. We've got these four tips. I'm kind of wondering what these are. Um, so that's that's going to be interesting to take a look at. So I think there's batteries inside here already. Uh, let's see if I am right. Um, we'll go to a dark environment right now and show you the four tips and what they correspond to. So let's go over right now. So there's four tips, and it seems like they're just generic screw-on uh, tips that you would see. And um, let me just see. Here's basically what the laser looks like if we're turn if we're taking it on a door and. Uh, it looks okay. It's not as powerful as the other one. The light isn't as strong. Um, maybe under darker environments, we could see that a little bit better. But it's more remind reminding us of like 20. Uh, this is a 20 uh, 20 MW, so it's more on the par with normal laser pointers, uh, red laser pointers, the ones that you kind of see in presentations and more in 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 people that actually use when they're in classroom conditions. Um, but it's still fairly strong. It's, it looks pretty cool. So if we take the first tip and we apply it here, uh, let's see if we can get it. So the first tip happens to be this uh, Ferris wheel-like thing um, that we can rotate, and it has different patterns in a circle-like design. The second tip has a this is hard to do. I'm not actually scrolling on the tips because uh, it's it's kind of difficult. Um, the second tip is a is a generic. It's a glass, so you can actually see through it. You can actually see the line. It doesn't show up in this camera, but you can actually see the line of the laser is actually passing, um, which is pretty interesting. You can see a little bit of that, so it means it's still okay. It's pretty strong. Um, the third tip, wow, it's a rotatable rod shaped structure that is that is like um that is spinning and uh rotating and all the pixels are rearranging themselves in this line. So this one's pretty interesting. Okay, screw that up. Um I'm gonna show you the circle one again because I feel like I didn't show that one accurately on camera. This is the circle one that I showed you guys. This one rotate like rotates like so. And the last one is a circular rod. It's a three-dimensional rod. It looks 3D, um, and it pops up. I'm not sure if it's showing up on camera. It looks like a 3D cylinder, um, and that rotates. And this one's actually rather cool. And in the middle, there's a center of line that's passing through. Um, let see if you can see this better here. Um, it looks three-dimensional, which is also pretty interesting. 
so it's different. It's not like the larger laser pointer that actually has the laser heads that look like stars. And then this one's actually like a cylinder. It's like a rod. There's a box, and there's also this circle thing that you can rotate back and forth. Certainly pretty interesting. Still a very bright laser pointer. And um, I think this one actually might be better for most people because it's going to be a lot more inexpensive, and it comes with a lot more cool extras and shapes that real consumers just are looking for. It's not it's not that powerful because it's you know only 20, uh, w, 20 MW, so it's not anything strong, but it's still pretty cool technology because of these interchangeable rods. And um, yeah, that's just a basic look at the green laser pointer, um, the smaller version, less powerful. You can read all about this on our full website, and thank you for watching this video review.